So let's say we want to create um, a, a custom head that has a lot of history, right? So I uh, found like a, a pedal style head. So I will do that real quick. Um, so let's, to Serena's point, let's put this on a four. And then I want to grab a gym on ring rail. Let's go up. Let's make it a seven. Okay. Then I can right click. Uh, I want to have a base down here. So let's choose a gallery rail. Let's pull it down, reduce that angle, maybe pick it up a bit. All right. Actually, want to pull it down just a bit more, raise this up to give us some room, and then pull it back down. All right, if this is your first time, I apologize. I am a bit of a perfectionist. So um, what is the purpose of saving both ring rail and head? Uh, so initially, if I did not save the ring rail, then the history would have been broken, right? So after I, because that gem is related to this ring rail, right? If I were to just save the gym, it wouldn't have any relation. So I need to keep the relation until I can apply it to something else. Does that make sense? Sure. Um, all right. So let's say we want to go a bit further. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to pull a curve off our center gym right here. Let's reduce this, pull it down. Something like that. So I saw, like I said, a, a pedal where it was kind of like a marquee shape um, design as a prong that set the center stone. Uh, so I kind of worked through it. And honestly, the easiest way was to, again, use gem on curve. We can uh, rename this as Dummy Gym Shape. Hit OK. Let's choose a marquee. Let's change the count toggle down to one. And then we want to angle it like this. All right. Let's go ahead and change the size to one, three, and enter. So then I can actually put a halo around this. And then I get this error, but I can actually turn these gems off. And then we can go through here. Let's do this real quick. Reduce the size. Let's turn those off. Let's go back here. Let's turn our channel off. Let's go to 0 0.8, 0 0.8. And now we get something like this, right? So I can pull the placement wherever I choose. Uh, let's kind of ang angle it a it. Let's pick it up. And whenever I have something I like, I can right click. Uh, now the angle of it is going to be related to my dummy gym, right? So let's edit that and let's tilt it. And then the offset is going to control my circumference of head. So we can edit this one. Let's say we want to open it up a bit. 
So now I don't necessarily need this stone, right? So I can come here and hide it. And now he's gone. Okay, so let's go to a side view. Actually, I'll do it in perspective for you guys to see. All right, um, let me go ahead, edit. I can hide this as well. Uh, that way, whenever I do import it, it's not showing. I uh, just forgot to do that. So let's do, um, I recommend renaming things just because it helps you stay organized, especially when you haven't touched a project for quite a while. You can forget sometimes how they're related. Um, so let's go ahead, rename this one. Let's do Okay, so now we can do a few things to this. Uh, one thing I want to do is to taper it. So I want it smaller at the bottom, right? And then kind of get wider up top. So let's go to transform. And we have a couple different um, commands right here, right? So let's choose taper. Let's choose this one. And let's just pull it in. There we go. So you can see I need to bring it in a little bit, but let's uh, run through everything first. So the next thing I want to do is uh, bend it. Let's choose it and right click. So now I need to determine what axes I want to bend, right? So let's see what the top looks like. Right click, let's bend again. Let's select a different side. Let's bend the bottom in. So we're getting there. Now I need to shear it which let's shear this one. Right click. There we go. I can pull it down just a bit. And again, that is controlled by my circumference, right? So let's pull it down. Maybe up a bit. And let's pull it in a bit. So now I can edit this base. All right, so now that I have this, right? Um, okay, just to go a bit further, um, so this petal shape, right? Let's go ahead and I want to polar array it. I want to give it kind of six. So I want to change the axes. Um, so here's five. So let's go to six. There we go. And when I right click, I now have this. Um, I could also edit this. Let's open it up a bit. Try to get them to connect.
There we go. Right click. All right. So now that I have my head, right? Um, so what I can do, let's show this. I can select everything. Let's open up our collections once more. Uh, we want to save two collections. So this is going to be a six petal head. No stones. Save to collections. Once we get the toast notification, to save. Oh, it did. All right. So let's do another file new. There we go. Okay, so let's say, um, you know, I have some sort of ring design that, let me edit this real quick. So this will be our shank ring row. And then we can um, profile place this. Add one here and here, not there, here. Let's auto sweep and then we can adjust. So I want to go ahead and pull this over like that reduce the height, make it a little wider. This is a great feature for shadow bands, by the way. Let's mirror this profile so it's symmetrical. There we go. Okay, so let's say you have this ring, right? And you want to put that head on it. Um, again, you can just come here under your collections, find our six prong pedal head, import, so now that it's here, right, we have uh, the ring rail, uh, where'd it go? Right here, right? So I don't need this one, so let's hide it. So let's choose our gem, our center stone, and we want to re-relate it to our shank gem, uh, our shank ring rail. So now that it is, I can right click. And now, even though the history, you know, has been elaborated upon, all of this history is related to my gym, right? Which is now related to my ring rail. So anything I do with this particular ring rail, so too will happen to my center gym and thus everything else. Does that make sense to you guys? I know uh, parametric history is, you know, pretty, pretty new and it's somewhat confusing sometimes, but, um, in order to keep history, you have to maintain it, right? 